Hola y bienvenidos a Medical Spanish with Michael. In this video, we're going to discover important adjectives for describing pain like uh, chronic, acute, uh, severe, mild, uh, as well as types of pain like stabbing, shooting, uh, dull pain, as well as many other types of pain. We'll also ever cover we'll, <laughs> we'll also cover important phrases like how bad is it and show me where it hurts. And I've even prepared a little quiz for you at the end of the video. So without further ado, empecemos. Let's get started. So an important question that you'll need to ask your patients uh, to describe the type of pain that they have is que tipo de dolor es? Which is what type of pain is it? Que tipo de dolor es? And we know that just like in English, there are so many types of pain. So we're gonna go through those right now. So to describe a sharp pain, you would say un dolor fuerte and fuerte means strong but when you say dolor fuerte this means a sharp pain in spanish uh, you also have un dolor palpitante so a palpitating or throbbing pain is another type of pain and un dolor sordo is a dull pain and the other meaning of the word sordo uh, is deaf or hard of hearing. And in order to say stabbing pain, then you can say un dolor punzante, punzante, or you can use just the word punzada alone. So if your patient says, I have a stabbing pain in my stomach, then they would probably say something like tengo un dolor punzante en el abdomen or to say I feel a stabbing pain uh, in the stomach or abdomen then your patient might say something like siento una punzada en el abdomen and to describe a burning sensation in the body then you can use the word ardor, ardor. and for example heartburn in Spanish would be Ardor de estómago. So to say I have heartburn, you could say Tengo ardor de estómago. So to ask your patient, do you have heartburn? You could say Tiene usted ardor de estómago? Tiene usted ardor de estómago? And to describe numbness in the body, then you can use the word adormecimiento adormecimiento and you can see that this has the root verb uh, dormir which is to sleep and to describe pins and needles then you can use the word hormigueos hormigueos and this is related to the word hormiga in spanish which is uh, ant like the insect so it makes sense that this sensation is kind of like a bunch of ants uh, crawling around your body or as we would say in English, pins and needles. And to translate the word cramp uh, into Spanish, there are actually a couple different ways. So if you want to say muscle cramp, then you would say un calambre, un calambre, um, noting that this is a masculine word. Um, and to say menstrual cramp, then you would just use the normal um, word for pain, dolor. So un dolor menstrual un dolor menstrual so to ask the question um, how bad is it then you could say que tan grave es que tan grave es so to say mild then you can use the adjective ligero ligero or you can say leve uh, which means light or mild so to say a mild pain or a light pain, then it would be un dolor ligero or un dolor leve. And to describe a moderate pain, then you can say moderado, moderado. Um, so a moderate pain is un dolor moderado. And to describe severe pain, then you can say 
severo or grave. So a severe pain is un dolor severo or un dolor grave. Um, but be sure to know that the word grave in Spanish is a lot more common um, than the word severo. So to describe something that is severe, I definitely recommend using grave. And if you need to distinguish between acute and chronic pain, then acute is agudo, agudo or aguda, and chronic is crónico, crónico or crónica. So dolor agudo or dolor crónico. And to describe pain that is constant, you can say constante, dolor constante, or intermittent pain, dolor intermitente, intermitente. And for general expressions, expresiones generales, uh, if you want to ask the question, where does it hurt? Then you can say, donde le duele, donde le duele. Uh, and this would be using the formal version for usted. Um, donde le duele. And to say, show me where it hurts you, then you can say, muestreme, muestreme, show me, el lugar, the place, que le duele, that hurts you. Muestreme el lugar que le duele. All right, awesome job. Hopefully you've learned some important ways to describe pain for your next Spanish speaking patient. I've also prepared a little quiz of um, English expressions, English sentences that I'd like you to try to translate into Spanish. And what you can do is uh, type your responses and leave those in the comments below. And I will comment back and uh, make sure that it's all correct for you and give you some feedback. All right, so the first of three sentences that I'd like you to try to translate into Spanish is number one, I feel pins and needles on my feet. And the second one is, I have a stabbing pain on my back. And the third one is a question that you would ask a patient, which is, do you have any muscle cramps? Do you have any muscle cramps? So be sure to try to translate those and type your responses in the comments below. And I will comment back and make sure that they're all correct for you. Uh, I've also prepared a summary slide of all of the different ways to describe pain in Spanish. And you can take a screenshot of that in three, two, All right, that's all I have for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. Muchas gracias por ver este video y nos vemos en el próximo video.